Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today, we are incorporating two of my favorite things, Disney and Trader Joe's, to make a Disneyland inspired recipe with monthly Trader Joe's products. So I am making the campfire chili that is inspired by the chili in Grizzly Peak area in Disney's California Adventure Disneyland Resort using the unofficial Disney Parks cookbook by Ashley craft this cookbook is the sh i'm so excited this is my first recipe using the cookbook i can't everything is so simple you know me like i really like simple recipes and this is so simple i'll have the link for the book down below off of amazon but i also believe that you can go to your library or online and request them to get this for your library if you want it that way. Um, I follow Miss Ashley Craft on the Instagram and I see that people request it at their local library. So you could totally do that too. I highly recommend if you wanna add some Disney chazzle dazzle into your household. Like I said, we're making the campfire chili. The recipe is so simple. That's honestly why I'm starting with that one because it's the easiest and it's cold. So I want chili, I want soup, I want Disney and I want Trader Joe's, so. Before I start, I just want to give the fattest thank you and I love you to Megan. Thank you so much for getting me this cookbook for Christmas, my bestie. We enjoy the same things. Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's homeboy. That's her Instagram, check her out. Um, and Disney, that is our life and then some. So thank you and I hope you make the campfire chili with me. Now on to the real, the real stuff. This is the sweatshirt of the day. <laughs> Okay, I have all the ingredients out. Like I said, they're from Trader Joe's. <clears throat> Most of the items are from Trader Joe's. Um, not all of them, because there are just some items that I mean, I feel like most households just already have. So I just happen to get them from somewhere else like ages ago. And I'm not gonna buy a whole new bottle of a specific product just for the recipe. We're frugal here. Here is the official recipe, but I am making tweaks to it because you know, I never actually follow a full recipe. You know what I, like you make it your own, but I'll tell you what it calls for and what I'm doing. Mm. Ugh. You can't go wrong with this simple yet hearty comfort food, a favorite at Grizzly Peaks Smoke Jumpers Grill. <laughs> I love their little um, like burger bar because I just like to eat their pickles dipped in ranch. Yeah, if you know, you know. Chef's kiss. Okay, oh, this serves. 10 so in my mind that's more of like five maybe four you need one tablespoon one tablespoon of vegetable oil i'm using olive oil spray one medium yellow onion peeled and diced we're getting there two tisps minced garlic which basically means like this whole head honestly which i'll need to chop oh my god one pound of ground beef i am using ground turkey from Trader Joe's and this is yeah this is a pound three cans of black beans including juices so I'm doing two cans because it's just my mom and I eating this two cans I'm doing black beans and I'm doing kidney beans adding my own chazzle dazzle two 14 ounce cans crushed totos including juices <gasps> I'm using this from Trader Joe's it's basically the two cans put together and they're fire roasted. This was on the new shelf at my Trader Joe's. I don't know why. Dried oregano, one tablespoon. Dried basil, one tablespoon. Ground cumin, two tablespoons. One tablespoon curry powder. One tablespoon salt. One teaspoon black pepper. And one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. So that's everything that you need by now. It's all just like spread out. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop up the onion. Wow, I should have grabbed like a bookmark or something for this. Uh-oh. I wanna start doing this where I show you like the utensils that you need. I'm kind of inspired because at the beginning of the Ashley Craft cookbook, it tells you like what utensils you might need if you were trying to make like everything in the book. So maybe I should start doing that. I will be using my Rachel Ray pot. Don't ask me how many ounces, don't know. A spoon, a can opener, and a cutting board, and a knife. A knife! No! You know that vine. Um, and then you just need like the tablespoon and teaspoon, but I'm totally not grabbing that, so. First things first, I'm going to cut my onion because we are working with the onion, the ground turkey, and the garlic first. So I'm probably gonna cry. One whole onion, a yellow onion. 
Don't judge how I cut an onion. Discard. Shell. Is that what that's called? A shell? A wrapper? Yeah, I'm doing like really thick, chunky chunks, okay? We like onion here. I'm like cutting it with my eyes closed. Ugh. <laughs> I'm crying. This ain't it. Okay, onion chopped. The first thing you wanna do is put the oil in the pan. So whether you're, you're using the one tablespoon of vegetable oil or you're using a spray, you're gonna add that to your, your big pan and then you wanna add the onion and the garlic. The onion and the garlic. Here's the thing though. I'm not about to put the onion in a separate bowl while I chop up the garlic and then have to clean that bowl. So the garlic's going in after the fact. <laughs> I'm gonna do like a heavy spray. Why, why do these always get so oily? Grandma, grandma, do you have any tips for this? Like why is the can covered in oil? Okay, honey, that was a heavy poured hand. Heavy poured spray. Now I'm gonna turn on the heat. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. She said, poof! Oh my god. He came to check on me to make sure my hand didn't get burned. Oh! Adding onion. is in we're gonna let that simmer simmer for a couple minutes i'm using garlic it says two teaspoons which to me says about like four or five cloves i'm using like three cloves because they're really big but she smells so good okay where'd the dog go cut your garlic <gasps> what is that oh Gordon Ramsay, check out my knife skills. Okay, this is the view you're getting. So you see the onion. I probably should have mentioned this, but it only takes like an hour to cook. Keep that cooking until she's like wilted. I'm gonna add the garlic. So, I love this. Oh, I, you know what? I'm actually, oh God. Oh God, I just cut onions and I'm touching my face. Uh. I'm actually like not mad at this angle this time because it's not like I'm going in the oven. It's like you see the, you're looking at the progress while looking at me. It's like a two for like a two and one, you know? Okay, I'm gonna let this keep going. They said to, they said, Miss Craft said to cook the onion until it's wilted. So a couple more minutes. Um, I probably had it in for maybe like, I don't know, five minutes, but just until they look wilted. I mean, you could tell they already do look wilted. The next step would be to add your meat. So I'm using the Trader Joe's ground turkey. Okay, I'm doing it. Ground turkey time. One pound. I'm gonna plop it in there. We said plop. We're gonna brown it up for six minutes, it says. So, I don't know, until it's cooked, I guess. I don't know if it's different since I'm working with turkey and not beef. Keep her cooking. My turkey, or your beef, or your whatever you're using, is browning. While that's browning, because we are a multitasking queen, we're gonna start opening up our can, so it's all ready. I decided to use one can of black beans and one can of kidney beans because I wanna add some chazzle dazzle, you know? And then after I do this, I'm going to already get the seasonings put into like a little bowl. So also, just I'm saying this now before I forget, even though the recipe is like in front of my face, when we dump this in, it says to dump this including the juices. I always thought you had to rinse your beans. Well, I mean, I just found that out like a couple years ago, but that took me like two seconds. Let's check on the turkey. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, she's not fully cooked yet. While that's still cooking, now it's time for the seasonings. One tablespoon of dried oregano and basil. Uh-oh. Oh, good. What am I doing first? The oregano. One. One basil. Mmm. Okay, 
okay, she's like nearly cooked, so now I really need to like put a little peppy in my steppy. Two, okay, one curry powder. She knew. Curry powder. One tablespoon of salt. Uh, I'm not gonna use one full tablespoon, I'll do a little less than that. Two tablespoons of the cumin. Cumin? Cumin or cumin? I don't say it enough to actually care, but like I wanna know. Ugh. A teaspoon of black pepper. Trader Joe's. Love that. Okay, so here is my seasoning mixture. I don't even care. I'm not even gonna mix it because why? Look, there she is. I'm gonna add everything else. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now I'm adding the beans and it said juices, but I'm gonna check again. So one can of kidney beans, juices, black beans, juices. Crushed Totos, juices. Seasonings we put together. Last thing, the vinegar. One tablespoon of the vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Also, do you love this or what? No, they don't have it online anymore. Okay, done. Dude, that's like it. So, now that that's all, all in there, you're gonna put the temp down, temp, fire, heat, down to like low, and you're gonna let it cook uncovered, like simmer for an hour. Okay, so I will see you in an hour for the taste test together. I can't wait, this is good, this is really good. Oh my God. Look at her progress. We're, we have 20 minutes left, everybody. Okay, so we have five minutes left, which means it's done, okay? I'm going to try it with you on the camera. I'm using a ladle because I figured out that this Rachel Ray spoon with the holes probably isn't gonna work. Here she is. Let me grab a spoon. This is it, you know, funny thing, I've actually never had the chili at Smoke Jumpers Grill, so will this take taste similar? We don't actually know. Ooh, she's good. Uh, oh, I'm obsessed. That was so easy to make. If I weren't making it on camera, it would have taken me even less time, all I have to do chop up the onion, the garlic, cook the turkey first, and then dump everything in and let it sit. That was like the easiest thing ever. And it was on the stove, not a crock pot, so I didn't have to wait like 10 hours. <gasps> Look at that. Look at those massive onion <laughs> pieces. Yes, okay, well, I'm definitely gonna eat more and more and more of this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Ashley Craft, for making a slamming cookbook. Thank you, Megan, for getting me the cookbook. Check out my Instagram, Mrs. Trader Joe's, the Bay Bay. Check out my new TikTok. It's just my name, like YouTube, Manny Jeremani, and I will see you next time. Oh my God, next time. We're back. We're back, oh my God, ignore the Christmas sign. It is no longer in the Christmas time. If you wanna add some chazzle dazzle to your soup, this is it. The bomba sauce, I just had to let you know because I just added it to my soup and it literally took it next level. Soupiness, chazzle dazzle, bomba sauce. Don't you forget it.